Hey there, this is Michael Rosenblum reporting for Zort Sports. I'm here today at the beautiful Notre Dame campus, and I have a very special guest with me today. This is Jerry Lynch. Jerry is the founder of the Connor Lynch Foundation. She's also Connor's mom, who was tragically killed four years ago in a hit-and-run automobile accident by an unlicensed and distracted driver. But out of this, uh, Jerry has created the foundation. We're very happy to have you with us today. And could you tell us a little bit about the Connor Foundation? Thank you very much. Yes. Um, after my son was killed, uh, he actually was cross-country training, walking across the street, and was hit by an 18-year-old distracted driver. We decided that we needed to raise awareness. I know I didn't know anything about National Teen Safe Driving Week, and uh, we decided to um, start fundraising and promoting awareness and safety for not only runners, but pedestrians, cyclists, and young drivers. Now you talk about raising awareness. I mean, one of the reasons we're here today is to talk about the fourth annual 5K fun run that you do for the foundation. So can you tell us a little bit about the fun run? Yes. Um, well, actually, it's a very competitive run. Um, it started as sort of, you know, something that we do all the time as a family, running, biking, and uh, just a natural thing. And then it's turned into a very competitive race with timing, uh, with medals, but also has a fun aspect. Last year we added a kids run to it, and this year we're inviting people to come as families and bring their, their pets. Um, we're, we had a superhero theme last year because we think you need to be superheroes to combat distracted driving. So we're even uh, making little capes for the, for the pets and we'll have a, a contest. But on the other hand, um, we get a lot of serious runners, um, cross country teams, and um, that's a big part of it too. We're looking forward to that competition. So at the run this year, how many athletes do you anticipate being there? How many runners? What are the age ranges? Not just of the dogs, but of the people too. <laughs> well, we've been very lucky and fortunate to have a very good group. The first year we had about 500 and it's grown since then. Last year we had at least 1,500. So we're hoping to reach 2,000 this year um, of all different age levels. And it's not only a run, although it's very competitive, um, it's also fun, but there is a fair, like a, a safe driving fair. So we'll have the first responders there, we'll have the fire trucks are there, we have crash cars, a lot of important information, even if you don't walk or run, or before or after. So um, I think it's a, a great community event. In addition to the run, what are some of the other ways that you raise awareness throughout the community? Well, the run really helps us. It's our biggest fundraiser, so it helps us create um, stories that then we share in assemblies. One of them is Connor's story. It's online on YouTube and we take it into high schools, middle schools, even elementary schools in California and actually across the nation. Um, we also have some celebrities who volunteer their time and make public service announcements and I think that is really the best thing we can do is message the dangers of distracted driving. Now I hear you're going to be rolling out a free app uh, for the foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about the app, the development, and when people and where people can find it? Well, it's actually out now. They can get it now. We're trying to make it as interactive as possible. And like anything, it's a work in progress, but I'd love for people to go. It's available for all phones, and it should have the Connor story on it. It will also have information on the run, and eventually it'll have the results of the race, uh, which is in the age divisions as well. Now, speaking of websites, apps, you have also been named the advisor of WeSaveLives.org or to WeSaveLives.org. Can you tell us how that came about and what that means for you? Well, yes, We Save Lives uh, is a new foundation by, founded by Candace Leitner, who was the founder of MAD. And now they've come sort of around full circle. It's not only about drinking, it's about drugs, distraction, and drinking. And so I've partnered with her and, and it's a national thing. I hope they'll be at the event. And again, it's just about raising awareness. Now, Zorts is really involved in the football community, the youth football community, and I understand that your sons play in the youth football league and we have a bit of a connection. In fact, we even have a picture of your boys playing football. Right, right. Well, this is when they were very young and you can see Connor in this picture. Of course, now Connor would have been 20, but the younger brother, Parker, of course, is a Notre Dame student. And um, so we're a big football family. Riley right now is playing rugby. So it's kind of a shout out to rugby players and football players. We really would love to see you out there supporting the cause. Get out there. You can walk. You can run. Um, and we'd really like to have your support.